I'd like to show you how to fix this error that you see here. When you run NSLOOKUP, all it shows up with is colon, colon, one. And that's not very helpful, is it? So how do we fix this? Well, this is because you have a DNS server setting in your IPv6 that is pointing to this, this number. So we can fix that. What you want to do is open up Control Panel. You can just do a search for Control Panel or Network and Sharing Center because that's where we're going. Once you see Network and Sharing Center, go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to see change adapter settings. So I'm going to click on change adapter settings and I'm going to find my main network card. If you may have multiple ones that are all doing this, so you may have to go into each one. I'm going into properties and then I'll go to where it says IPv6. I'll double click and look at that. This is where it's getting that information right there. So just change that to obtain automatically. Click OK, click OK. Now I'll go back and I'll run that same command again. And now it's no longer doing that colon colon one. Now, if you still see the default server unknown, it's because you don't have a reverse DNS set up. So I'm going to do that. So we'll go to the server and click on reverse lookup zones, right click and choose new zone. Click next. I'm going to choose the primary zone and you can choose to store it in Active Directory if it's a domain controller and mine is a domain controller. So I'll just leave it that way and it say, hey, all DNS servers in this domain. That's fine. That's safe. This is going to be an IPv4 lookup zone. And now I need the IP address subnet of my network. So I'm just going to go back to my command prompt and just type an IP config. And I can see that this is going to be 192.168.21. And we can see that the subnet mask shows that we only need to care about the first three octets. Each of these are octets. So if this was just 255.0.0.0, then I would only care about the first octet. But because I see three of these, I care about all three of these octets. So that's what I'm going to enter in. So I'm going to put in 192.168.21. And that's it. I don't need to put in anything else. Click Next. Choose Allow Only Secure Dynamic Updates. That is the safest way to go. And click Finish. So there is my reverse lookup zone. And it adds in an SOA and NS uh, records. Uh, those are uh, default records that are added in to show who's in charge of that zone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh my DNS by doing an IP config slash flush DNS. That's flushed everything out. So that way it will go to the DNS server to look for any new information rather than anything that's been cached. Now that I have my zone set up, I'm going to right click and choose to create a new pointer record. So I've got my new pointer record. I know the IP address of this particular server is .110. And I'm going to put in the name dc techpubus OK. Click OK. And there's my record. Now I want to go back in and choose NSLOOKUP one more time. And there we go. Default server dc1.techpub.us, no longer saying unknown server. Simply creating the reverse lookup zone isn't enough to fix the error. You also need to go in and create a new pointer record. So that's how you fix those reverse DNS errors using NSLOOKUP by creating that reverse lookup zone and record in Windows Server 2019.